Hey folks, here are OS Reviews. You're watching our video unboxing and first impressions of the very cool S6001 smartphone. We're also coming out with a full video review, so be sure to keep tuned for that review. Now the S6001 is a phablet with a 6 inch display, it's also a relatively inexpensive unlocked handset that's priced at $200. It has two SIM card slots, one is a micro SIM and the second is a full size SIM, and it has a quad core 1.3 GHz processor, a 6 inch display with 720p HD resolution, it also has a 13 megapixel camera on the rear and a 3 megapixel front facing camera. Now at 6 inches it is a little bit large, it's around the same size as an LG G Flex, uh, but without a curved display so it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge to tote and carry this around. With that being said, you have a better experience of watching videos and browsing the web, and it has Android 4.4 KitKat out of the box. There's also a few unique accessories that we're going to take a look at that's included inside of the bundle. Again, at 200 bucks, you get a pretty good deal for the money. We're going to check out the performance and see how it stacks up with more expensive and similarly priced handsets in our full video review. So as you can see from the back of the box, you have some basic info about the unit. This is 4G LTE supported if you have AT&T or T-Mobile here in the States. Inside we have access to the phone. We're going to take a look at that in a moment. There's also the back cover. It comes in three different colors. We have the gold version. And below here we have the aforementioned hard shell case, which is thrown in for free. Take a look at that as well. It's a malleable case, which is a covers up all the ports and also the camera grills on the unit. There's also a screen protector that's included, although one is, has already been pre-applied onto the phone. Also a cleaning cloth. A user manual, which is documented in full color, tells you how to set everything up. And over here, we have additional accessories. This includes the battery, which is rated at rated at 2,300 milliamp hours, which is a little bit small for a six-inch phone. The LG G Flex has a, a battery size that's over 3,000 milliamps. So. Um, we'll see how that performs later on. We have a micro USB cable for charging and syncing, just a standard cable there. There is also the headphones. And finally, a wall adapter that plugs into the uh, AC adapter and it just has a USB tip, pretty standard. Taking a look at the headphones over here, it is a flat ribbon wire design, so it's a bit fancier than most box headsets that we've seen. There's also a remote on one end with a microphone for you to reject or answer a call. Uh, it's going to be anti-tangle, on the end has the 3.5mm jack, the other side is crafted out of plastic with silicone tips, and it seems to be a relatively nicely designed pair of headsets, of course we'll have to see if the audio quality really stands out. And taking everything off to the side, we're going to go back now to the phone. So here we have the handset, it measures only 8mm slim, which is again very slender. It actually feels pretty nice in terms of weight distribution, and it kind of belies that $200 price tag in that sense. Seems pretty well constructed. Over here we have the micro SD card slot, these are the two SIM card slots as you can see. Uh, so you can slide back and forth between two SIMs. The speaker is down below. The battery cover seems a little bit flimsy and, and uh, thin, but that's again to create the illusion of something that's very small and easy to tote around. I'm going to snap everything back in place. It seems like construction quality is solid. It's crafted out of plastic and metal components. So it feels, again, like an expensive product in the hand, which is good. You have a textured back, which makes it easy to grip and hold in the hands. And it makes, again, the product pretty comfortable, even though it's a large phone. Very cool logo is embedded on the bottom. We have access to the microphone on the bottom of the phone as well. The size feature is the volume rocker. It seems to be pretty tactile. On the top you have the micro USB for charging, which is an interesting placement uh, as opposed to the bottom. There's also the 3.5mm headphone jack. Other side contains the power switch, and that's basically it. Um, again, it looks like a pretty slender and sleek phone. On the front you have access to the capacitive controls for the home. Next, we're prompted to, to the setup screen, so I'm going to press on English. And then actually you have to insert a SIM card, but finally we are done. So I'm going to press on finish, and the actual phone has been loaded and booted up. Um, this is what the native or the stock experience looks like. It seems like very cool to touch many different elements. It seems to be a pretty vanilla build of Android 4.4, although there are a few different applications out here like WhatsApp, WPS Office, which is a Word, Excel, and PowerPoint reader. There's also a very cool app that's pre-installed, but everything else seems to be uh, pretty much stock, which is good. Um, so you can still install everything that you want to and taking a look at other wallpapers that are on board. We can also select through, there's a few that's been customized by the manufacturer. These are all kind of custom wallpapers that the manufacturer included on here, but let's say I want to use um, the Nexus theme. I can set that up and you can see everything is running fairly smoothly. 
there's not too much delay or lag between the home screens. And if I drag down over here, it seems like things are responding relatively nicely. And lastly, I'm just going to go to settings and show you guys that this is indeed Android 4.4 about the phone, Android 4.4, and indeed we have KitKat on board. So it's not Android 5.0 Lollipop, but at least you have a relatively up-to-date version that can run all the latest apps and programs. Anyways guys, this has been our brief video unboxing and first impressions of the Veracool S6001. We're going to come back with a full official video and written review on our website, so be sure to keep posted for that and also on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, here at OS.